Hello and welcome to Tip and Trick APD 002 entitled Best Practice for Importing Blocks into a PIN ID Project. The purpose of this tip and trick is to enhance your skills and share with you solutions to problems that other users experience. Our tips and tricks are created from the top 30 support calls logged with our support desk. If you require more information on our support desk then please contact customer services on 01784 419911 or email customer.services at cadline.co.uk. All of our tips and tricks can be found on our website www.cadline.co.uk. Please remember that we're issuing tips and tricks for all our desk products as well as the one you're about to watch. Okay, what we're going to look at in this session is cleaning up a block before bringing it into a PNID project. As you all well know, blocks can hide some nasty things within them, so it's best to clean them up before you bring them into any AutoCAD drone anyway. Now with PNID, because the drones are all linked via the XML database, then it can be even more serious if you get an infected block in here. What I have open at the minute is the Project Symbol Styles drone for a particular project that I'm working on. And I've also got another drone open which houses the blocks that I wish to bring into my project. Now, Project Symbol Styles drawn, as you know, controls all the, the blocks that you see within your particular PNID project. So from time to time, you do want to add some more in. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to go back to my Symbols drone that I have open. And I'm going to insert the block that I want to look at first, which is this air cool condenser here. So I'm just going to insert that one in on the screen. And then select the block. And I'm going to open it up in Block Editor. First thing I'm going to try and do is just explode it within Block Editor. Nothing happening there, so there's nothing else nested within this block. Close out of here, and then I'm just going to explode it on the screen. Explode it again, just to be doubly sure. Okay, once that's done, I'm just going to re-block it. And I'm just going to call this one Demo ECC, very cool to condense that. Create the block. And that's all done. Once I've done that, I'm going to return to my project symbol style drawing. And then down here, I've got Design Center opened up. Now, Design Center, obviously, you can use the Folders tab and look for a drawing that isn't already open, or the Open Drones tab where I can see my Symbols 1 drawing. Click on the blocks and then just have a look for my newly created block. And here we have a demo ACC. I'm just going to insert this block into my project symbol styles drawing, and that's it all done. So now this block exists in the project symbol styles drawing, it's ready to use as part of your project, and it should be fully clean. Just delete it off the screen, and that's it all done. Hope this tip and trick will help, and good luck with PID. Thank you.